Welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends. What I've got done on this canvas is I've taken a normal white canvas and then I've painted a basic woodland scene in uh, very loosely in black acrylic primer and allowed it to dry. Then I've coated it all completely in liquid clear. Once it dried, completely in liquid clear and then added some transparent colours down into the, to the black areas, some greens and blues and browns. In the sky, we're just hitting that now with some, some Indian yellow. What I want is a deep in the woods sort of feel to this painting. So we're just gonna hit it with some, some, some uh, Indian yellow. Now Indian yellow is a very transparent yellow. So we can paint right over this black that we've got on there and you won't, you won't distort it, you won't, you won't cover it. But what is an opaque color is titanium white. So I'm just, on a one inch brush, I'm just adding some, some white paint to that and I'm going in one direction and I'm pulling the rays. I want it to look like rays of sunlight that are shining through the forest. This is gonna be a deep in the woods sort of, uh, uh, a painting so we want some rays of sunshine that are just breaking the canopy and coming through so that's what we're doing and then we'll take a, a dry brush and we'll just just gently merge them together just like so very very gently all in the same direction we don't want to blend them out we don't want to distort them as such we just want to just to, to, to tickle them away a little bit then up in the rest of the sky here we'll just put a little bit of yellow ochre brown touch of blue it doesn't matter if it turns a little bit green because remember this is deep in the woods and we might have a little stream or a path or something like that that's what that's what we'll that's what we'll do so to create the effects that i've done i've taken a uh, a synthetic sponge and i've just that's the primer and i've just dabbed it on the um the canvas and then I've just painted some, some basic tree shapes. I go walking in, into the woods a lot and uh, I take photographs of, uh, of trees and things and I, I think it's, you know, you know, it's fantastic. And, and th this is a, a scene that, that is very close to where I live. A little nature reserve quite close to where I live with a little stream running through it. On a rounded brush, I've taken some some greens, just just very lightly, putting in some indications of some some little foliage areas right back here. Now, as I'm doing that, I just want to just remind you guys: if if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And and if you are subscribed, thank you for coming back. It really does make my day. And if you could like the video, if it's your cup of tea, that'd be perfect. And if you could leave me a comment on how we've done. That's even better. Or even send me a photograph of what you would like painting. Or even if you attempt this photo, uh, this painting, or, or any of the paintings, send me, a, send me a photograph. The link's in the description to, to the social media. Brilliant stuff. Right, so with that out of the way, this is a, this is a small round, well, I say small, it's, a, it's probably about three quarters of an inch in diameter, and... I've used this for a long period of time, this kind of brush, and it's perfect for putting all kinds of foliage in. And we'll just put some background material in. We're gonna have some big trees. So on top of the, the primed parts of the canvas, we're just adding in some uh, some Van Dyke brown, maybe a touch of burnt sienna every now and again, but just basically a dark, dark brown color, maybe a touch of black as well. We're gonna come back in here and and put some highlights and shadows on there at some point with a knife and, and some some other colours. At some point in the video as well, I'm going to show you some absolutely fantastic work that has been sent to me by some of my young young artistic friends and it is, it is absolutely mind-blowing. So stick around for that. I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, so all we're doing is just thinking about individual little little shrubs and bushes and trees and, and things that live down down here on the on the forest floor just working in one at a time we can vary the flavor of the paint the flavor of the trees just do it like that that's great stuff how did you find last week's video did you did you uh, did you enjoy that did you enjoy the lightning if you could see at the beginning of the video today, um, the lightning's, uh, we've been suffering from lightning and it's been flicker, 
flickering, the, the light was flickering, so I do apologise for that. But it's, it's out of my control, I'm afraid. Right, was straight titanium white. We'll pull straight down, and we're going to create a nice little stream that's running straight through this little wooded area. And because there's a little bit of transparent blue on the canvas, it'll pick it up, and we'll, we'll create a nice, lovely little watery effect. Gently go across that white, and it creates the, you know, the illusion of reflections. It really does. And then on this bank, we'll just come in here and we'll just, just tap in some, some sap green, a little bit of yellow ochre, Indian yellow, cadmium yellow, just to put some grasses around the, uh, around the bank here. And some on this side. We've got to keep this side happy as well, haven't we? There we go. There we go. All the way around. And then a little bit of a watery line. This is just thin white paint. It's like liquid white. Right on the edge of the knife. All the way across. Just like so. That's how we do it. Now you may realise that I've speeded it up in places. If you haven't, if you haven't clicked on already, I, I do speed it up on some videos just, uh, just for ease of viewing, really. Just for ease of viewing. I know not many people have got the time to sit down and watch a full hour of of me paint, but um, I do appreciate every single one that watches watches these videos. Right, so we're just pulling in a little bit of dark colour. We're going to create a little bank down here. So we'll just add a little bit of dark colour. And we need the dark for the light to show. So we can come back in here now with a little bit of light. This is just a light brown mix. Very gently put a little bit of highlight on that bank. There we go. Starting to come alive already, this painting, isn't it? It certainly is. It certainly is. So on the little rounded brush here, I'm just going to put in a few little bits and pieces, some more, some more bushes and and shrubbery that lives down deep in the woods here. But but this hobby, it is amazing. It it appeals to a lot of people, a lot of people of different ages, and and I've been absolutely wanting to show these pictures for a, for a while now. This is. Um, as I'm just putting these bushes and, and shrubs in, um, we've got some some pictures that my young artist friends or, or the parents have sent to me of, of what they've achieved, they've watched the show and they've, what they've done. And this first one is by Sarah and it's a fantastically, very colourful pencil drawing of the skies on fire painting. That's absolutely amazing, Sarah. And Joe, young Jojo here, he's, he's painted a wonderful mountain range there with the with the nice clouds and the shadows in the clouds absolutely nail it and it absolutely fills my heart with joy when I when I see the young friends just just picking up a paintbrush picking up a coloring pencil and, and and getting creative it really is amazing stuff so well done Sarah well done Joe and I'm sure everybody will write down in the comments how fantastic you you two guys have done they really have done amazing haven't they so with a palette knife, we're just going to highlight the uh, the light side of the tree and a little bit of a, a, a colour that's made from burnt sienna and white, just mixed together and we're just going to just tap the sides of the tree and, and the, the canvas will pull off what it wants, it'll pull off what it needs from the knife and leave what it wants on the knife as well. And eventually, eventually, when you finish this painting and when it's dried, you, you, you'll get the real feel of bark. And I'm going to vary the colours on the bark as well, add a little bit more of a different brown, a little bit of uh, a cool blue on the shadow side as a, as a little bit of a reflected light. And, and, and that will give the indication that the tree is, is rounded. You've got to excuse my arm here a, a moment. <laughs> it sometimes gets in the way. But yeah, just like that, just very gently, just very gently work down the side of each tree. And work on one tree trunk at a time. 
build up colour and it gives some texture to the to the painting as well. It really does. And you can you uh, it, it is very difficult to get texture on a on, on let's say a watercolour uh, or something like that. But but um, that's that's why oils and acrylics are quite quite good for for offering not just a visual but but a, a feel as well uh, in the, in the in the paintings. Really does really does give it a little bit of oomph. So we're just working on these tree trunks building up colour, building up highlight, building up shadow, just just down like that, very softly, very gently with the palette knife. There we go. Down, down, down we go, down the side of this tree. And like I said, this is going to be deep in the woods. There we go. Maybe you know somewhere that's like this. Maybe you do. That'd be fantastic, and and I would really love to see some of your guys' work. If if you if you do create this, or if you you, you do have a go at any kind of drawing, just send me it. Just say I'd, I'd I'd love to see it. I really would. It'd be absolutely amazing to see. And like I've said before, the the email and the the social media it's all down in the description. So on. On these trees here, we're going to put some foliage in, and I've taken a, a fan brush, and I'm just putting in the indication of, of, of some, some some leaves. This is made by Sap Green, and I'm just coating over that 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 darker colour, that that primed colour that we had previously on the canvas. And because we've highlighted where we want it, it's, it's, it's probably the closest we'll get to doing a sketch prior to painting it, unless we're doing a portrait, of course. But uh, it, it, I don't like tracings, and I don't like um, sketching things out. Pros, you know, but 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 priming the canvas first like that, it's it's as close as we're gonna get. Now, obviously, needs a little bit of highlight. So a little bit of highlight on some of this foliage up here in the trees. That's great stuff. And remember where his light source is coming from. Remember where that light source is coming from. And we can use the brush. This is like a filbert brush. It is rounded in on the tip. And we can turn it to one side or the other, depending on what what kind of shape we're, we're having to uh, to try and uh, try and achieve. We vary the colours, we vary the shapes. There'd be all sorts of ferns, and well, there is. I, I I walk I walk down this route many times, and there's all sorts of ferns, and there's all sorts of grasses and and little things, brambles living in the undergrowth. The foxes have got to have a place to hide, and the rabbits have got to have a place to hide. And <laughs> they certainly have. There we go. So we just add some more on this side as well. And pulling that down into the water as well. Pulling a little bit of that greenery down into the water, and that'll give some some green greenness to the water. Now I'm changing my mind mid flow here. If memory serves me right, and I'm thinking back to the nature reserve I, I, I've recently walked down, there's a little stream. This little stream, it, it's, it suddenly, it, 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 it has a little bit of a waterfall. Not a big one, it's the River Went, and it, it, it's not far from where I live, but it has a little stream. That, that runs through the woods and there is occasionally a little bit of a waterfall every now and again. Only a tiny, tiny little ripple of a waterfall. So I think we'll, we'll, we'll use some artistic license and we'll, 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 we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll plan out where it wants to be. Around about here, I think, on the, on the canvas, we'll, we'll, we'll come back and do that. Now, you, uh, you, you may notice that I haven't covered every single tree up in the in the background and I'm letting that black 
um, primer shine through the the thin colors the um, the transparent colors and that will give the indication in this painting of some some real depth and, and distance yeah it, 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 it will do it we'll, we'll let the primed canvas work for us really is a, a sneak little technique but it, it, it works really well it really does and like I've said before I don't do tracings or, or anything like that because I like to change my mind mid flow but but planning out your canvas like I have done is, is, is as close as I'm going to ever get to, to tracing. Right, I'm using some thinned out brown paint. So I've, I've made this, I've just mixed some paint thinner into, into some Van Dyke brown and I'm adding some sticks on these, uh, on these branches. Now usually on evergreen trees, the light doesn't really get through to the, uh, to the under, under branches of the trees. So they shed the leaves, and then you just ended up with a with a bare with a bare arm of a tree sticking out here and there, and and it also adds some reality to to the painting as well. And then we can just come back in here and just pop in a few more little bits and pieces where we need to be. Now let's let's plan this little waterfall out, just like a little trickle of a waterfall, just there. So this is liquid white mixed with a bit of titanium white, and we'll just on a fan brush, just a tiny little one, just there, like like somebody's pulled the plug out of the uh, out of the stream a little bit. Now sometimes this this little waterfall is not there if I think on it. Just depends on how much water, you know, it's been raining lately, but it just depends on how much water has been there. Now thirsty the trees are, boy, some of these trees can get quite thirsty. <laughs> So there we have it, just there, just like that. The artistic license is a great thing. Of course, we'll need a few stones just to hold this waterfall in, or so it'll leak everywhere and get all over the kitchen floor, and we don't want that. So a little bit of a, a stone here, and we'll highlight that roughly in the same way as we highlighted the, uh, the tree trunks. So if you try this one, or your children try this one, please Please send me a photograph of it. it it'll be fantastic to hear from you. And it, it, it'll be amazing. It really would. And, and thanks for watching. And I, I do appreciate it. I really do. And again, leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Hit the bell notification. And subscribe if you, if you haven't done so already. That'd be perfect. But until next time, my fantastic friends. Stay safe. Happy days. I'll see you all later.